A rare book in the collection at the Kentucky Historical Society not only inspired our founding fathers, but also explains what a commonwealth is. Thomas Hobbes was an English uh, philosopher. Uh, he wrote this work called Leviathan and published it in 1651 at the end of the English Civil War. Um, and in it, he writes about a system of government uh, that involves a social contract and an absolute monarch. It's kind of his how society should function guide. So one of the most famous works of political science. If you've taken a high school history class, you've probably seen at least the title page illustration of this book. Um, and he writes about other things that are more familiar to us in Kentucky, like the concept of a commonwealth, but it's, it's most famous for its uh, illustration at the front of the book. So our copy um, alleges that it was published in 1651, um, but it's actually an illegal pirated edition of the book that was published in 1680. So the book itself was highly controversial uh, and banned a lot across England, so publishers had to find ways to illegally publish it to meet demand over the subsequent decades. And the way that it ended up here in Kentucky is it's, it's part of the Woodburn Farm uh, Library Collection, owned and run by the Alexander family. Uh, and the Alexander family had uh, a ties to its original uh, family line in England and Scotland. And uh, they, they retain connections to that kind of European English heritage, including some of the books that had been in their family for a long time. So it's one of those works that uh, the Founding Fathers would have been very familiar with. Um, they read lots of different political philosophies from Europe and England as they were kind of devising how they wanted their new country to function. Um, and I just love the Kentucky connection that there is this mention of Commonwealth, that these people living together and acknowledging that everyone has rights and desires um, and it takes everybody working together, acknowledging everyone else's rights and desires to have a functioning society. And so Kentucky, is, as you might know, is one of the few states in the country that is a official commonwealth. So currently it's not on display. Um, we hope to have a rare books display in our research library uh, soon. I think this book can serve a lot of purposes, um, just the physicality of it. Um, it's a really good example of how books were made in the, in the period. It's called the hand press period, so it's this kind of bespoke, very different way of putting books together than we might think of today in the kind of mass-produced Barnes & Noble kind of era. Uh, so I find it very useful for that. Um, it's connection to the horse racing industry, the horse breeding industry, knowing that this book was referenced by uh, these, these people that were heavily involved in the industry, just giving that connection is very interesting. Um, and then again, the, the kind of political influence on uh, today's uh, government in Kentucky also. To learn more, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug Hyde.